What's up? What's up? Happy uh, Thursday. All right. I want to jump on here because I've been thinking about something all day today. When you <laughs> we have so much time, I'm, I'm working from home. I'm probably putting more time in now than ever before. Um, but I really got on a thought today. I left a message from my team uh, reflecting the same message. So what's up, everybody? Good to see you. I'll, I'll read all your comments. I'll try not to look down too much because I get so distracted. My ADD, I'm like, oh, hey, what's up, Terry? What's up? Uh, you know, I, you know, you know how it goes. All right, so here's what I want to talk about. If you're scared, if you're feeling uncertain, if you're troubled by what could come or what's happening with the world, then congratulations, you're human. Like, you're human. This is unlike anything that I th I've ever seen in, in my history and maybe unlike anything that's happened in a really long time because it's, it's unlike any, it's not just a recession, right? I was alive and in business during the late 80s of the dot-com boom, or the dot-com bust, I should say. It was boom then bust, right? I was here for 9-11. And 9-11, the world changed, or at least the United States especially, changed overnight. Not only were we scared and fearful because someone has attacked us on our soil, but the economy took a huge hit, right? And then the Great Recession of 2007, um, you know, I was in business and, and there for that. So I, I could talk through experience, right? Um, I could talk through experience of being in a down market, being scared uh, with 9-11 and coming out and prospering. I, I was blessed to my companies in, in 2007, my companies grew um, when the economy was going down. So I, I could talk through experience, right? But the reason I wanted to address if you're scared, fearful, really uncertain, because this is really unique. This is more like, and I've been doing a lot of thinking and with, and with friends of mine, we've been philosophizing, is that the right word? Uh, <laughs> about this, but this is kind of like a world war, right? Because the entire world is afraid. The entire world's economy is being hit, right? So, okay, so if you're afraid, let's just get right to the point. Uh, afraid, fearful. If you're watching me, you're somebody who's already a leader. You're already looking for another level. You're already, you work on your personal growth. You work on your self-development. You'd, you'd be watching Netflix if you weren't here with me. So I'm already talking to somebody. We're kindred spirits here, right? But I really want you to think about this. Um, during a recession, you worry about your income and your economy, right? Um, the income and the economy. But think about what's stacked up here, right? We're uncertain about our income, our jobs, our career, our companies, right? America, in America here, we just, I just saw today that 6.6 .6 million people are out of jobs already. They're predicting that could go to 30 million, the highest ever in history, right? So, okay, you're worried about your job or your company, right? That's, that's one thing. The worry about the economy in general, right? That, that's, a, that's a fear and a worry. People stop spending, right? But then we have the uncertainty of health and you worry you're fearful of what could happen to you or to your family? And, and what if it wasn't just like a flu for you? What if it was something deeper, right? Then stack on top of that, that we're being told to social distance so you don't have the support of family and friends. A lot of people are kind of isolated, not figuring out how to work from home, how to self-discipline, right? So when you stack all that, of course it makes you uneasy. You're human, right? But what changes that? What changes that? So I can reflect back on 9-11. 9-11, um, it was a really good slogan, and I think I shared this last week, but it was a really good slogan in America here. It's, um, it was, stop being afraid, get outside, go spend money, go support your local businesses, go to your local restaurants, get out and about, go to the mall and spend money. And that's how we rebounded the economy, even through fear, right? This one's a little different. It's like, stay home, right? So there's a couple of things I want to share with you today that I feel are um, based on experience because I've been through this. It's based on, I've done a lot of thinking about this. I do a lot of thinking for my students, right? I want to serve them at their level. Listen, do any of us have the same thoughts today than you had just four weeks ago? Like, give me a um, thumbs up if I'm right there, right? Like, think about what was going through your mind four or five weeks ago compared to what's going through your mind now. Completely different, not in the same world, not in the same game. You thought you had some issues four or five weeks ago. You probably forgot about those issues because you got these new issues, right? So I want to live in the mind of my client so I can always serve them at the highest level. I want to serve you guys. I, wanna, I don't want to be here. And just, listen, there's a million people going on doing Instagram lives and Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. There's a million things you can listen to. If you're going to spend time with me, I want to kick ass. I want to... 
I, hold on. It's going to go dead. I forgot totally about it. All right. We're going to be good here. And three, two, one, boom. We're good. Okay. So um, when I think through these things, again, I'm not just here to hear myself talk. I'm here because I want to deliver some value to you. So here's what I believe. What changes an economy, right? Remember I was talking about get out and spend money. You couldn't. So um, we, we can't get out. So I believe people, now one thing I want to share is one thing, people are still spending money. Money didn't just evaporate. People are tighter. A lot of people losing their jobs, but people are going to spend more wisely. So no matter what industry you're in or what, what you want to be in, provide things that bring massive value, take care of people on a whole nother level, and you will still win by impacting, helping people, and people are still spending. So if people can't go out and spend, what are they doing? They're virtually spending, right? So just know that money's still gonna be spent. In fact, people aren't going out to dinner, they're not going to the movies, they're not going to the mall, they're not going to Target for one thing and buying 50, not going to Costco for 10 things and getting 200. They're home, buying the minimum. So people are online getting ready to buy. So if you're in that space, serve your clients at the highest level possible. As a company, we're obsessing, we're changing everything we do to virtual, but not just like virtual crazy Zoom. We're, we're changing to, um, to just the highest quality deliverables this way. If we have social, you know, if we have social distancing, we need virtual connecting. Okay, so that's, let me park that for a minute. This is the part I wanna share. What changed through 9-11 and last down markets are those, and this is what I'm gonna challenge you are, this is why I went live tonight for what I'm about to say right now. You ready for this? Those that are innovative will come out of this on a whole nother level. Those that can see what needs to be done now, plant seeds of success this moment, so when they need to be here in three months or six months, they're already in the ground, they're already germinating, and they're already blossoming. Innovation, planting seeds now, and focusing on the right things is what turns economies around. It's what turns families around. So, so I'm gonna start wide, go narrow, and then come back wide again. We've been through world wars, world wars, and our world has recovered. We've had troubles in our countries, and our countries have recovered. We've had troubles in our states, in our cities, in our towns, in our community, in our family, in our house, and personally. We've been through all those, and it went, we, we learned from it, and we grew, and we're still here, right? This too shall pass. And who are we gonna be? You know, I've been saying that a lot lately, but who are we gonna be at the end of this when this passes? Are you gonna be the person that wasn't innovative, that wasn't creative, that didn't gain new capabilities, that didn't learn what, what industries will emerge through this and what will go out of business. You just sat around in fear, you binged out on the news, and you binged out on Netflix. Like, which one do you wanna be? We get to decide that right now. I'm sh I know a lot of people are scared. I know a lot of you are saying, yeah, Dean, look at you in your fancy house, you don't know what I'm going through. Listen, my company's home. I'm, my, one of my companies burns about 250 grand a week in revenue, just one, which is great when the company's thriving. Not so great when there's 70 people home and you shut off most of your revenue, right? So it's all relevant, right? We're, we're all affected in one way or another. I own 300 houses that are rented, 300, right? 287, something like that, right? A lot of those people aren't gonna be able to pay their rent, right? I gotta figure out a way to make that okay and help them and help everybody. So it's all, it, listen, if you, if you make you know, $500 a week, and that goes away. You're as stressed as I am trying to cover 250 a week. So it's all relevant and all the same. We all have this. But here's the part that I know. You know what I'm sitting here? I'm outside working. This is where I've spent most of my day today, outside working, because luckily here in Arizona, it's beautiful. Um, I'm trying to be innovative as hell. I'm trying to think of the next level. I'm trying to live in the mind of what the world needs right now on a bigger level. I'm reading, I'm obsessing, I'm downloading. I'm on the phone with other smart people, other smart people, I'm saying I'm smart. I'm with I'm people, smart people, navigating, negotiating, thinking, trying to, trying to figure out all this so I could be innovative and I could be ahead of this. So when this is over, I wanna be ahead. I wanna serve you on another level. That's how you make it. Anybody could do well when things are going great. 
Anybody could do well when nothing goes wrong. We are judged by God, the universe, by the success gods, by your personal success. We're judged on how we handle the rough times. We're judged on what we do when no one's watching. What I taught my kids since they were little is you don't win baseball games. They're softball and baseball. They're both really good, right? I said, you don't win at games. You win when no one's watching. You win when over there I got a batting cage that I put in for the kids. When they're out there by themselves hitting when no one's there and my son gets blisters on his hands for swinging a hundred times. No one's watching. His buddies aren't. But when he goes to the game and goes three for three, they're like, oh, you got lucky today. He didn't get freaking lucky. He's, He's working when no one's watching. Are you working when no one's watching? Or when no one's watching, you're binging out on Netflix and sending your friends stupid memes. I'm not being a jerk. I'm just saying, if you're watching me, you want more. If you're a little afraid, if you're concerned, like I said earlier, congratulations for being human. But there's a certain point where that's got to end. You got to get over that. And now it's time to get innovative. Now it's time to focus on a bigger future. Now it's time to digest capabilities in an emerging market. I thought, so if you're in, a K, if you're in my KBB family, give me a thumbs up. KBB, the knowledge broker blueprint. We teach people how to be in the knowledge industry. The knowledge industry is going to explode. It's going to absolutely go straight up. People are home. They virtually want to learn from people. I, I, th- that course isn't open right now. I can't even tell you to go buy it right now. We are going to reopen it, so stay tuned. Um, because we have so many people asking and so many people need it. But how do, you, how do you find an industry that's gonna evolve and go to a whole nother level? That's the stuff that you need to be innovative on. That's the stuff you need to be obsessive on, right? If one door shut and you can't open it, then just walk away from that door and find a new door, right? I hope this is all making sense today. This was all in my head, all stuff I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I appreciate you so much. I don't know if you saw my latest post. Make sure you go to my next post, my latest post. Leave me a message. Um, tell your friends about this page. If this is, I, I never asked this, but I do this for free, but I know people need this messaging more than ever. I still see, honestly, I see a lot of influencers out there giving a really jackass message right now and it's frustrating me. So that's why I'm gonna go live more and do more because people need this. They need the truth, right? This ain't gonna happen by itself. There's no government gonna bail us out. 2.2 trillion bucks. Most of us aren't gonna see that money. I hope a lot of you do. And I think that I think the, the government's doing the best they possibly can, but they're not... They're not responsible for me. I don't, I don't look as the government's responsible for me. I'm responsible for me. You're responsible for you, right? So we need this real and raw message. Stop sitting around waiting for somebody to help us. We need to help ourselves. KBB, best, best in mastermind. Appreciate you guys. KBB family, we love you. Love everybody here. So um, share this with somebody else. If you like what I'm talking about, tell a friend right now to come follow my page. We're going to be doing these lives. I'm going to try to do it every single day. Um, and we're posting some good stuff. I'm doing stories every day. And uh, that's my message for today. My message was simply this. It's okay if you're a little scared. This is, this is so freaking unique. Uh, this has never happened in the history of the world. Secondly, the way we change this is get innovative. You've been through shit before, for lack of a better word. You got through it. This is a little tougher. You got to be more innovative. You got to be more creative. You got to fill your mind with the right stuff. You want to fix the world? Fix in here first. Once you fix what's going on between your ears... Then you fix what's going on in your family, become a leader, become a role model. Then you can fix the people around you. Then you help in your community, your town, your city, the world. We fix this. Us, right now. We can fix this. Those of you watching. Not those sitting on the couch on their 19th hour of Netflix or sending stupid memes to their friends. Is there a little time for that? Of course. I watched Netflix last night for 45, 50 minutes. We watched a show last night before we went to bed. I'm not knocking that. I'm just talking about if that's the only thing you're doing, right? Be innovative, be creative, know that we are control. We hope other people help bail us out, but I've never had anybody bail me out. I'd bail myself out. So play like an underdog, play like you're 10 points down and uh, keep after it. If you guys haven't, um, if you haven't taken my free challenge, the better life challenge, when I say free, it's free. Like there's no way to give money. It's a 30 day challenge. It's really awesome. Um, It's something I created years ago and we just revitalized it and is, oh my God, is, Two minutes a day. It's like two to three minutes a day, one little challenge to shift habits in your life. And it is like, it was designed for now. And uh, if you just go to thebetterlife.com, when you're done here, go over there. Seriously, not only is it a killer challenge, not only is it free, I give a car away. Last year I gave away a Tesla. This year I'm giving away a brand new Camaro. Um, why? To ethically bribe you to make a shift in your life. It's just a cool little challenge. It's a passion of mine. Um, plus we give away cool prizes every month. But the prizes are a byproduct. The, uh, the daily little shifts in your life. Uh, you're going to love it. So go to The Better Life. Yeah, two minutes a day. Exactly. Um, go to the 
betterlife.com. Check it out and uh, take the challenge. That's my message for today. If you liked it, let me know. If you liked it, tell your friends. If you liked it, go to my uh, last post on my wall and uh, let me know. Tag, like, tell your friends. All right. I appreciate you guys. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your night.